Okay, so today I was thinking about some of our friends at the hospital and making a thank you card for them. And I have this just regular piece of copy paper and I'm going to just fold it in half. So that makes a nice card. And you can open it up. Or you can leave your paper just flat like this if you like as well. And I have two phases that you can make on here. I'll make the first one on this card and then the next one just on a regular piece of paper. Um, I like to use a pencil with an eraser to start with. And the first thing you'll do is you'll just draw a circle on your paper about there. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just a circle. And then this is going to be the, the doctor's head. And then because everybody is wearing a mask nowadays, especially doctors and nurses, they need ears to hook them on to. So there's some ears. And then I put sort of a C shape right here and a backward C shape right there and then kind of extend that across and that's my mask that will go on my doctor right then I'm gonna give him some hair him or her some hair that and then some eyes because you can see the eyes right I try to make them about the same size right and then you can also see eyebrows and I don't think he's mad he or she is mad I think that up like that is good And then we can give them lines for the hair, or you can color the hair, whatever color, right? And then there's that. Okay, and then I'm going to write a big thank you well let's give him a let's give him a stethoscope because I think that would be nice to you I put the little black dots here because that's like they put the stethoscope in their ears right and then it comes together Give him a little stethoscope there, right? <laughs> I'm just making this up as we go. I think this is kind of a fun little thing. There we go. Doctors have stethoscopes, so do nurses, right? And they listen to your heart or your lungs with them, right? There. And then I'm going to write a big thank you on my paper because I am so thankful. For all that the medical staff are doing right now. And I'm going to put a big exclamation point. There we go. Thank you. And I also like to use um, a Sharpie pen to go over it after I'm done. 
with my pencil. So I think that makes it look really nice. You don't have to. You can go over it with crayon or marker or pencils or or just regular, just leave it in pencil. But I like to go over it with a Sharpie. hair. Right. I don't know, some doctors have curly hair or spiky hair. I'm doing his all smooth. Or her. I guess you can't really tell. Somebody has a mask on. So there's one sort of doctor picture. And then I was going to do like a nurse as well. Let's see. We'll do a big circle. And you can totally do this same thing like on an, another piece of paper that you folded and make it into a card as well. But let's see. This is going to be my nurse. And of course, you know, everybody has ears. Ears are good because they help hold our masks in place, right? Here's her mask. And you can see her eyes. And let's give her some eyelashes. I don't know why, but on cartoons, they add eyelashes to make it more girly, I guess. I don't know. And I'm going to give her curly hair because I think it looks cute that way. Let's give her even more curly hair. And the reason I made it kind of flat up there is because I'm going to give her, like, nurses used to wear these hats. Not so much anymore, but even still, when you see a cartoon or whatnot, there's a hat, like a nurse's hat. And then it has like a little cross on it. And it's usually red, the little crosses. And you can draw it like that and then erase these little lines. And then um, color it red. And then I've got these lines here. Because everybody's mask kind of, like, does that, right? Okay. Gosh, she looks really worried. <laughs> Maybe I don't want her eyebrows quite that tipped. Maybe I just want them to be like that. I don't know. She still looks kind of worried. She's worried about you because nurses are good like that. Okay. And again, I'm going to write... Thank you.
with an exclamation point. There we go. Um, I would go over this with a uh, Sharpie as well. Oh, I want to give her earrings. I don't even know if nurses are able to wear earrings right now. I don't know. I think they look pretty like that. So, there we go. There's my, my thank you nurse. That I'm going to go over. With a Sharpie pen. I don't know if that was too too much detail or not. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know other stuff that you think you want to learn how to draw as well. We'll just make it up as we go. I guess you don't have to put those lines across there if you don't want to. And we can make her eyes even bigger. And then when you're done drawing, you can go through and erase the extra that you don't want, right? Okay. Well, let me know how it turns out. And um, I guess thank you for drawing with me.